we are honoring today, without a doubt, one of the greatest heroes of Dream Center history. And it's becoming a pretty long history now, 20 years of ministry here. And as I was standing here looking out, Dad, I, I saw the old Bethel Temple building where we started just about a mile and a half down the road. And I remember that old building when we started. We could barely even find a musician, barely even find singers to even do a worship team and struggling just to put together a church service. But who was there, Pastor Charles? And then every month he came to preach for us for several years. And uh, it just really was a part of building the, the life and the culture and the faith, the belief that anything could be done. You know, a lot of people will um, have faith and believe that anything can be done when they're riding the momentum of what's already been successful. But very few people will have faith to believe it can be done when you don't even think it can be done yourself. And uh, that's been the story of Pastor Charles. And today we are honoring the Charles Neiman floor because the influence that he has had on our discipleship program, without a doubt, has been beyond anything that we could ever imagine. Pastor Charles is the most quoted pastor and Dream Center of all time. When he comes to church, we always have a bump in attendance. It always, it always moves up when Charles is here. People are very excited when he comes because he just done something in our spirit that's been so incredible. Um, he, he shaped a lot of the thinking in the program discipleship and really been a part of building the foundation. And I think you'll see from the reaction of the men and women up in that first balcony here at church tonight, the way they respond to Pastor Charles. He is not a speaker here. He is not a Thursday night guest speaker. He is one of us. He is staff, he is family, and we just love him so much. And that's why we're gathered here today. I came to discipleship in 2003. I'm originally from Arizona. And the reason I came here was because I was just, I was hopeless. I was addicted to drugs. I came here to the Dream Center back in uh, 2004, shortly after I overdosed on crystal meth. I came to the Dream Center in 2008 and entered into the discipleship program. I had spent the previous nine years running as far away from God as I could possibly find to run. I had battled addiction, rebelliousness, homelessness, hatred for myself and the dreadful feeling that my life would never amount to anything good at all. Pastor Charles, your financial generosity allowed me the opportunity to find the will of God for my life and your spiritual generosity inspired me to seek the Lord in new and exciting ways. Your messages from Kings and Priests to Alpha and Omega ring as fresh and as powerful in my conscience now as the night I first heard them at Angelus Temple. Those messages in my mind are an example of your continued generosity and I am honored and humbled to have been selected to get this chance to thank you publicly. I don't just visualize the Dream Center as reaching hurting people. I see in my mind the Dream Center someday reaching all kinds of people across the spectrum, not just the poor, but every kind of person that you can imagine. He's touched the lives of so many people at the Dream Center. God has used him in such a great and wonderful way. So we decided that we named this discipleship floor after him. Uh, the men's discipleship has always been very dear to my heart. Uh, I, I, believe, I believe in these men. I believe in what God does with them. I believe in what God does through them. I believe that all of them have incredible gifts and talents and abilities. And it's a great privilege and honor uh, to have of all the ministries here that you all would let our name, my name, Abundant Living, and my family name uh, to be associated with this incredible ministry. Uh, I have many, many memories. I remember the first day that I came and we walked across this building. And, and a lot of you never saw it the way it was, where we walked through the floors and all we had to kick the glass out of our, of our way so we could walk down the floors. The ceilings were collapsed. Uh, the rooms were all beat up, uh, walls were punched out, they were shooting movies here, and they really abused the building. And, uh, and yet, there was in all of us not a sense of, oh, this is ridiculous. It was like, wow, look what God is giving us. And somehow we knew, and really these two men knew, uh, that, that, that God wanted us to do this. This is truly a great day, but I would be really, really remiss if I did not thank everything that, that I'm getting the credit for was actually made possible by the incredible people that I pastor in El Paso, Texas, uh, the church called Abundant Living Faith Center. Uh, they're the ones that gave the money. They're the ones that when I shared the vision with them that Tommy told, 
uh, when we were walking down into the service and God spoke to me and told me to send an offering a month for a year and then he would talk to me after that and we actually did it for three years and we would have kept doing it but Tommy told me to stop because we were then begin beginning to build a new sanctuary ourselves. There's been a lot of things come out of Los Angeles that has hurt America and it's time for something really great to come out of Los Angeles that's going to make America better and we want to be a part of that. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew, for letting us be a part of this. Thank you.